Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I'd do a little get to know me tag so you guys can learn a little bit about me and who I am. So I just googled get to know me tag on Google and I pulled up the first one and there are 95 questions so I doubt I'm gonna get through all of them and I doubt anyone would want to listen to me talk for through 95 questions but I'm gonna do the ones that are most interesting and I think apply mostly to me. So number one is what is your full name? My full name is Molly Joyce Curley. So in Molly J. Curley, obviously J comes from Joyce. Joyce is my grandma's name, so that's where that came from. And that's why I went with Molly J for my swimwear line. Number two is are you named after anyone? Um, this is a question that my, like, my best friends and people who are closest to me know the answer to this question. This is something that's kind of like hard for me to talk about because it's really, really personal. Um, maybe at some point I'll do like a full video on it, but I am named after someone. I'm named after my aunt, my dad's sister, who sadly passed away, and obviously her name was Molly. And I've taken that very, very seriously, and I absolutely love my name, and I take it very seriously that my dad chose to give me uh, give me the name of his sister. Six is where were you born? I was born at Newton Wellesley Hospital in Massachusetts. Number seven is which of your parents are you closest to? Huh. I feel like that's kind of like picking a favorite kid. Like I love both my parents equally. I mean, I feel like girls are sometimes like closer with their moms. Like I tell my mom everything. So like I'm super close with her. Oh, number eight. Which of your parents are you more like? This is like both, like I had 100% have my dad's eating habits, like sweets and all that, that definitely came from him because my mom's not like that. But I feel like I ha I'm like a perfect mix of both of them because I feel like I kind of got like both of, both of their qualities, the good and the bad. <laughs> What's your favorite drink? Water. Number 11, what is your favorite holiday destination? Well, like during Christmas and everything, I like to be around family. So even though I hate the cold, definitely home. But like tropical destination is definitely my favorite type of place because I love the beach and anywhere warm. Are you a dog or a cat person? 100% dog person. I hate cats. They freak me out. When I was little, I was hurt. someone told me that like if you stare into a cat's eyes, they'll like pounce on you and attack you. So now I'm like terrified to ever look at cats. So 100% dog person. Are you scared of heights? Like, no, but I think I'd be terrified if I went skydiving. So I don't know, but I really don't know if I, like, I feel like you have to try before you really know. Like, I could, like, skydiving just sounds scary, but I'm also, like, I could climb to the top of a building and not really be scared of it, so I don't know on that one. What is an ideal first date? Definitely just going out to dinner. I think going out to dinner is like the perfect type of first date because then you get to have great quality time to just talk and like you get to eat. Obviously food is great. Um, yeah, I definitely think just a dinner date. I think that's perfect. What is something you are gifted at? I don't know. I have no gifts. What is something you wish you were gifted at doing? I wish I could sing. I go to concerts and watch these people up on stage, like singing to millions of people and having them all sing back the words. Like, oh my God, that would be like my dream. That just like gives me goosebumps, but I suck at singing, so that would never happen. <laughs> what is one item you can't leave home without? My phone, I know, but can't leave it at home. What's the best compliment you've ever received? I think just like being a nice person. When people tell me I'm really nice, like that just makes me happy because I don't would never want anyone to think other than that because I try to be nice to everyone and try to make people feel loved all the time. So I think just being a nice person is honestly the best compliment you can get. Do you have any pets? Yes, I have a little dog. Well, technically he's like my parents and really he's like my dad's. My dad, so I have, it's Yorkie, a little dog and his name's Max and my dad and Max are like attached to the hip. They're like best friends. My dog goes to work with my dad. They like follow each other around. They just, it's like a whole love story in itself. So it's more of, more of my dad's dog. What is your biggest accomplishment? I don't know. I feel like every stage of your life, 
you had like big accomplishments. I feel like at this stage in my life, it would be starting my own company. I think that's a pretty big deal that I'm pretty proud of. What is your favorite ice cream flavor? My favorite ice cream flavor is Richardson's ice cream um, mint patty. It's literally like the best thing ever. I love mint chocolate chip, but mint patty at Richardson's, it's like mint chip ice cream, but then there's like big like mint patties in it. Oh my God, it's like to die for. What is your favorite music genre? Something funny about me, I always thought that genre, I thought it was Jern when I read it. I never like, obviously now I'm an adult, I can read, but I always thought that genre was Jern. Something that's very embarrassing about me, but thought I'd let you guys know. But my favorite music genre is country music. Country music will never get old to me. It's 100% my favorite music. My first concert was actually when I was two years old. My parents took me to Alan Jackson. I sat on my dad's shoulders. They got me a pink cowgirl hat. I just like, I was born loving country music. What is your favorite nickname? I don't know, a lot of like, my parents call me like Momo. My friends call me Malls. And then my best friend Kyra usually calls me Malls Balls. So that's an interesting one. <laughs> what is your most commonly used swear word? Honestly, like this is something about me that like, I feel like people notice. I feel like nowadays it's kind of rare because everyone swears, but like, I like never swear. I don't know why. I feel like I've just like never been the type of person to swear because I feel like if you swear all the time, then when you actually mean something and are like really mad and want to get a point across, it's not going to mean anything. So the only time I ever really swear is if I'm like really, really, really mad. Like I, I usually don't ever swear though. Do you have a tattoo? No. And I don't know if I would ever get a tattoo. I don't know if I'd want something permanent. Unless it was like really small and in a place where you can cover it up, then I would. And it would have to be like super sentimental. What was your first job? So my first job was at 13 years old and I was an ice cream scooper at Smitty's Ice Cream in East Falmouth on the Cape. And I did that for like three or four summers, I think. But yeah, that was my first job. What is the furthest you've ever been from home? The furthest place I've ever traveled is Germany. One of my best friends that I met um, at my high school is from Germany and I went and visited her when I was 18, I think, and that's definitely the farthest place. What is your biggest fear? Honestly, I have like so many fears. I'm like a very fearful person. Like, I don't know. I feel like everyone's like trying to kill me. <laughs> I don't know if like anyone understands what I'm saying, but like, there's like, I don't know, I like, I carry mace with me. Well, I, I think it's pepper spray. I don't know what it is, but like, I'm a very like skeptical person and I'm the type of person that like notices all their surroundings and like is super hypersensitive to everything. So like, I notice what everyone's doing, what everyone's wearing, like, I don't know. I just, I like analyze a room before I get into it because I'm super skeptical that like someone's doing something wrong. And especially in the type of world we live in nowadays, I don't know. I'm I'm a pretty fearful person. <laughs> when is the last time you cried? I'm pretty emotional. <laughs> but no, the last time I cried was like this past week cuz my back cuz the herniated disc. I was literally like screaming, dying in pain. It was horrible. When was the last time you got in a fist fight? I don't think I've ever been in a fist fight. Definitely not. <laughs> Who is the first person you call when something exciting happens? I feel like I call like a bunch of people at once. There's not like one person, but it would be my boyfriend, my parents, and my grandparents. Have you ever dated two people at the same time? I've never dated two people at the same time, but in high school I dated brothers. Yeah, I know, yikes. That was tough. Not at the same time, but like still, not a good situation. <laughs> Have you ever suffered a fracture? Yeah, I actually fractured a rib my freshman year of college because I fell down the stairs in a frat house. I know, it's like extremely embarrassing. Good way to start off my college experience. If you could give your younger self any advice, what would it be? I would definitely tell my younger self to not care as much what other people think. 
I think when you're a kid and when you're in like middle school and high school, you care so much about what other people think and about having so many friends and all this like, I don't know, I feel like you're just so caught up in like being popular and all this stuff that really doesn't matter in life and I would tell my younger self to just literally, if I'm happy with who I am, there's nothing else that should matter. <laughs> On a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the highest and 1 being the lowest, rate your driving skills. I would say I'm a 10. I know many people who would say I'm a 1, but those people just don't understand aggressive driving. On a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the highest and 1 being the lowest, rate your cooking skills. Most people agree my cooking skills are a 10. No one's going to disagree with that one. Are you single or are you taken? I'm taken. My boyfriend and I have been together for like three and a half years and we'll be together for a long, a long time. What's the first app you check when you wake up in the morning? If I have texts, I check my texts, but then usually Instagram. Love Instagram. <laughs> what app do you use the most? Instagram. What is your favorite thing about yourself? I think my favorite thing about myself, and this is something that definitely I've have I have had to learn over time and that definitely I wasn't like born with this, but I always look for the best in people. Like that's my I think something that I've tried my best to do is to always look for the best in people and always to look for the positive in every situation. What countries have you visited? So I've been to Italy, Germany, London, um, America, <laughs> Bahamas. Yeah, I think that's it. I've never been anywhere else. What do you consider unforgivable? I don't think anything in life is unforgivable. I think there's always room for forgiveness. You can always forgive someone if you really want to. Um, they say like you can, you can forgive, but you can never forget. So I think you can always forgive someone though. What would you name your children? This is something my boyfriend and I have actually talked about. And I love the name Brooklyn for a girl, so definitely Brooklyn. And my boyfriend likes to name Brody for a boy. And I think that'd be like super cute to have like both the same, like B and B, so like Brooklyn and Brody. I don't know, I think that's like super cute. So that's what the plan is. Ooh, this one's interesting. If you were another person, would you be a friend of yourself? I'd like to hope so. <laughs> Unless I thought I was a bad person, I'd like to hope that I'd be a friend of myself, so I'd say yes. What is the first thing you notice about people? Hmm. I'm like really big into like the vibes I get from people, so I'd say like the first thing I notice about someone is kind of like the vibe they give off. Like, I feel like I'm a really good judge of character, and like if you're just like not a nice person, I can like immediately tell. Scary movie or happy endings? Well, I'm the biggest wimp in the world. I cannot watch anything scary. Like even the show Pretty Little Liars like freaks me out. Like anything will give me nightmares. So definitely happy endings like rom-coms. Those are my, that's my thing. How many boyfriends have you had? Um, I think I had like, I think I had four like serious relationships. One, let me think. Like one that, like I think my first relationship was like the longest that I've had since the current relationship. But I had like two or three in between those ones. But yeah, I think like three or four. I should know that. I don't know why I know that. don't know that. <laughs> wow, we got all the way down to 95. I mean, I skipped some of them, but the last one, number 95, is what do you do for a living? Um, most people know what I do for a living. I am a model and I also do some acting on the side and then I have my own brand which is Molly J Swimwear, soon to be Molly J Active because I have activewear samples coming in tomorrow and my activewear line is hoping to launch this summer so I'm super excited about that. Okay so that was the end of the list. I hope you guys found that interesting. If there's any other questions you have about me definitely ask me in the comments down below. Definitely like and subscribe to my channel and comment on this video. It really helps me to build up my channel and thank you so much for watching guys. I'll see you in my next video.